G'day Will, welcome back to my channel, Bendigo Hydroblasting, where I unashamedly promote the best hydroblasting business in the world. Well, Central Victoria anyway. I've got something for the best of viewers today. Uh, I'm going to clean up a heap of parts for a 1961 Vespa GS150. I'll keep the video short today and only show you the before and after results as I go. Now there won't be any swearing or shenanigans in today's video because I think the customer's wife may be picking up the parts and I don't want her to think I'm some sort of uncouth lout. Uh, if you want swearing and shenanigans, uh, subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Anyhow, I'll give you a look at the bits and then I'll get into it. Well, some fine Italian engineering right here. Here's all the bits we're going to be playing with. Um, now, where am I going to make a start? Oh yeah, well I've got you, to all my Italian customers and viewers, love yous all. Okay, first up I think we'll have a go at uh, one of these hubs, and then I'll uh, pull it out of the machine and pop it next to the other one so we can have a look at a side-by-side -side comparison. Well there's one of those hubs out of the TARDIS after a wash. Hopefully you can tell the difference there folks. Okay, we'll, um, we'll have a go at this one now. Well, that's the result uh, you get from Blast and Vespa hubs there, folks. And if old mate who painted those in green in the factory back in 1961 is listening, yeah, thanks very much for that. You just made my life hell. Anyhow, we'll move on to this uh, fan and cowl next and uh, see what we can do with those. Well, there's the fan and cowl done, folks. That's looking nice and shiny. It's... Uh, Looking better than you. We might have a go at uh, this engine case next. It's looking pretty ordinary. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. It's looking nice and shiny. Right, oh, what we'll do now is we'll do this other engine cover and swing arm and drive assembly. Um, I know you've been waiting to see that. That's the swing arm and the other engine case cleaned up. This is starting to get to the stage where I might let rip with a hurly burly, who knows? But uh, yeah, she's all starting to come together nice. What we might do now is we might move on to this uh, clutch cover by the look of things and this manifold. We'll do them next. There's the clutch cover and manifold done. Why would you do this to a Vespa, they ask? Because if where I come from, every motorcycle deserves the right to life. Let's have a look at this uh, cylinder head and brake lever next. Brake pedal's done, and the cylinder head's done. That brake pedal there, oh, oh, that's near too good to put your foot on, I reckon. And the cylinder head, have a look at the shine on that baby. Right, I'm going to wet blast that spring now. I'll give you a look at that when it's done, and then I'm going to pack that uh, that ball full of rags, and I'll probably dry blast that uh, cylinder. It's cast iron. If I wet blast these things, they soak in the water and they come out brown within a minute. So we'll just dry blast that, give that a quick blast, so we can paint it. Spring's all done. That's nice and clean now. Better than being rusty. That's ready for a coat of paint. Okay, we'll uh, fire up the old dry blaster now and um, give this cylinder a quick going over. Hurly burly, she's all done. That's got to be worth a hurly burly for me down in the comments section, doesn't it, folks? Humour the old blaster. There we go, and for those doing the math, uh, five minutes short of three hours to do all that lot, so... Uh, I'll let you guys do the sums, but yeah, that's what you can do if uh, you're doing up a Vespa. Well, folks, who'd have thunk I could make a whole video without swearing? Thanks for giving me a few minutes of your time. Anyhow, if you like my content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time, viewers, I'm Craig Jenkins, and you're not.